The tourniquet is a challenging one that needs a lot of practice to master and a lot of patience. The goal is to shape a piece of vegetable in a regular form. Depending on the vegetable, the number of faces will vary. Most of the time, the end result is a vegetable piece with seven equal sides and blunt ends. This is true for potatoes and carrots. But sometimes, other vegetables, such as zucchini, are partially turned to achieve a better yield for variety. The length will also vary, but the most common size is 5 cm or 2 inches long. The vegetables will cook evenly and the presentation will be elegant on the plate. All you need is a sharp tourné knife. Tourné is French for turned, and in this technique, the vegetable is turned after each cut. It's not as easy as it may sound, so don't be discouraged the first time around. Keep on practicing. You will be going through a lot of vegetables. We are going to practice first with an egg to get the feeling of the motion. Hold the egg in your guide hand, place your thumb at the bottom of the egg and the knife blade at the top of the egg. Drag down the knife following the curve of the egg towards your thumb. Rotate the egg, raise the knife back to the top and repeat the motion. Keep practicing until the motion feels comfortable for you. It might take a while. Let's practice now with vegetables. So we're going to start with a potato. My potato is pretty small, about 6-7 centimeters. And um, I didn't peel it because it's going to be peeled when I turn it. Trim both hands of your potato to have something like a chunk that is about 5 cm long. Hold the potato in your guide hand. Then place your thumb from the other hand on the bottom and the top of the knife or the blade on the top of the potato. Move your blade outward to the midpoint here and then inward to the bottom. Rotate the potato and raise the knife back to the top. So turn. So repeat the motion. So here my potato is not really regular, but I do have my seven sides. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. We want to have something uniform, right? So you see, I can turn it another time to have something like so. Do it again. So go over to make it just a little bit thinner. Et voilà. Depending on the size of your tourné potato, they will have a different name. So we will learn those names in a future course. You can also tourné zucchini and carrots. Let me show you with a thin carrot first. So you will cut the carrot into, you may peel it or not, depending if you want to use the trimmings. You will cut the carrot into chunks of about 5 centimeters. And then you will turn it the same technique you did for the potato. So hold it and turn. So here my carrot is pretty big. Uh, I'm not going to turn it the same way. So here I will trim the end, cut a chunk of about 5 centimeters, and this is going to be a very big turned carrot, so here I'm going to divide it into three pieces. So from the center. There we go. And on this end here, it's thinner, so I'm going to do only one piece. Okay. 
So, so hold the carrot like you did for the potato and just turn it. It's going to be harder a little bit because the vegetable is harder. So just turn. Don't worry about the skin behind, okay, because the carrot, you have to give a first shape. Okay, so it's not to look like a barrel or an American football, but it's not perfect yet. So now you're going to work on your outward and then inward motion. Go slow. Don't take too much at a time. Now let's do another one from those ones. Those are going to be a little bit more tricky. So hold it, start at the top, outward to the midpoint, and then inward to the bottom. And repeat the motion. Okay, so here we, this is what we got. So here then you have, on the center, you have to also try to give it a round motion. What is really important is to have your carrots the same size, thus they can cook evenly. It's easier to turn zucchini. Cut the zucchini into chunks like we did for the carrots. Cut the zucchini into three pieces. Hold the chunk the same way as the other vegetables. Start by the green part here, turn. Then we don't turn the green here, otherwise you're going to lose the skin and the color. Go on the other side and give it a rounded shape. And this is the seed side, so you, here you're going to be turning outward to the midpoint and inward. Again, on the top, outward to the midpoint and then inward to the bottom. Make it flat. Okay. And again. So, outward to the midpoint and inward to the bottom. That's good. straight, so make it flat. You may turn green or yellow zucchini in the summer. You may turn cucumber, why not? You may turn the stem of your broccoli. You know the stem, you just threw them away because you use just the florets? Well, turn them and cook them with a little bit of butter. It's delicious. Have fun turning vegetables.